Hi, my creatives. This is Marianne, and we're on our fourth Art Saturday Happen. It is groupings. You're going to love this month's activities. So don't forget to check out my friends, which will be in the show more section. I'm using Artist Loft. I think it's uh, four by, five by four. Five by eight, or oh gosh, well you could see they're small. What can I tell you? Um, they're not tiny, but they're small. And I'm going to be doing a collage on them. And I just kind of work free for all. Whatever happens, happens. Um, I have my Tim Holtz paper, which I absolutely love using. I have so much of his paper and it lasts a long time. It's well worth it. And I'm just going to use some watered down glue to attach it. So I take some glue, I add water to it, mix, 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 and it's just real easy when I'm putting paper down. And I have a mistake in um, one of, in some spot in here. I'd love for you to try to tell me which where the mistake is. And um, I'll let you know at the end what it really is. So just trying to get the air bubbles out, making sure everything's covered well. I um, couldn't find my little roller thing, so I took a piece of cardboard and used that to get the air bubbles out. By the way, everything is sped up in some way, shape, or form by 20 times in sometimes less but most of the time it's 20 because it took me two days to do this I gave it time to you know cure and then had to go do other things but basically I'm sorry it has to go fast but it does because you know you just want to see this stuff you don't need to sit there and watch me watch stuff dry doesn't work that way. So trimming off the ends. I could have ripped them off, but I was afraid of pulling the paper because it wasn't quite dry yet. So I think it works out. It's fine. Okay. Now we're going to move on to stamping with archival ink. And I have very old stamps. And just so that you know, this is a little witchy, pagany looking art piece so there's going to be some spider webs and black cats and just all things that i think are kind of cool did a little embossing now one of the things that i really noticed with myself is i get all hung up i want to just rush into what i'm going to do and um, i did the half on one side half on the other the only problem was that I really didn't want to break off the owl that much. But I did a little bit, but as you can see, I didn't get I didn't get as much on the one side as I wanted. But it's all right. It's all learning. See, he's got like his little ear on the one side. So I kind of rush into what I want to do and and not think of process. What I should have done is gotten the background done first and colored that in but I wasn't sure where I was going to go with it and I just wanted to start playing and so that's kind of like what happens when I do things in any case I digress there's our little black cats that represent Cricket Cricket is my adopted cat who was a super runt I have no idea what that means but that's what they told me now I have these what are cards really thick cardboard wheel wheels and gears and what have you and I ran out I don't have any more black paint so I decided to use the darkest paint I had and just pre-paint them they're not going to stay that color but I wanted them to have a dark background so that there's something to work off of it's really hard to paint something once you've glued it down it's better to do it like this and now we're gonna, where the fun begins. This is the part I liked, which I really should have painted the background first, but what can I tell you? You can learn from my mistakes. And I don't, I don't know, 
Yeah, I used clear school glue because I had it. I had a bunch of it, so um, I'm gonna use it. And I just got everything all where they need to be. Let them dry, and I have a little bit, I think this is Artist Loft too. It's a gold paint. I wanted to see if it made the gears look a little bit more geary, you know, or give it a layer of something that was metallic looking. I don't know if you know, but our um, fourth art Saturday hop happens every month on the fourth Saturday of the month. And there's lots of people to go check out and wonderful inspiration. I mean, I go through it and I get inspired to do stuff <clears throat> that I didn't even think about. So it is well worth just going in and visiting. And when you do visit, it's really nice to give a thumbs up, a nice comment, and then if, you, if you're really inspired by what someone does, share that video on your timeline or in your social media so that others can enjoy it. I think it's the one way that you can do something. I mean, this is free, really, when you think about it. And it's just nice to share the love. So I watered down my copper paint and I use da Jane Davenport paint in a lot of my stuff. And that's what I have left over. So I watered it down and I really like the way the background came out. Okay, this is my Stabilo pen pencil and Going around, I moistened my paintbrush so that I can get into the nooks and crannies and spread that so that it kind of makes everything pop out a little bit. The Stabilo pencil is really, I mean, I love it. It's It's really useful and it's so easy. And once you've wet it and you can spread it a little better. Now I'm using a pearlized silver. It's really, um, really shiny, very metallic looking. And just adding to my little gears and what have you. I hope you've enjoyed this and I'd really appreciate it that you've come this far. I think it's great if someone hangs on. <laughs> I know they're kind of long and you don't want to have to deal with some of this stuff. Now this isn't it. I've added a little bit of a montage in here so that you can see the process and how it's going. But I did use some quick cure clay in um, some molds that I had. And I had done this in the previously um, where I'm gonna add it. Oh, this is a die cut I have called, that says Wicked and I just loved it. I thought it was really good. I also used some die cuts to make um, the spiders, to put them on their web. So each one has a, a spider and I also used die cuts to to print out Blessed Be, which is sort of a, a witchy kind of thing to see it, to say and I sort of enjoy that kind of thing. Under the acrylic blocks up above are wings that I did with quick cure clay and a heart and um, just kind of having them sit there for a little bit. There's they're glued on with some super glue and the the heart I tried to um, just Put a little bit of a quick highlighting on it didn't work out so well for me because 
um, that you'll see. See, look at that. I just, I was like, all right, I'm already here in this. I might as well just finish it up. I wipe it off. Um, I really liked the way this turned out. I hope you did too. Um, we'll let you enjoy this without my whiny voice and my doggies barking at you. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the video and please go and check out my friends. <laughs> Take care and be crafty, friends.